In this video I'm just going to show you how to create a patchwork quilt using Illustrator CC 2014 using the pattern editor. Right, first thing to do just go to object and pattern make, click OK, select the hex by column. Now what I want to do is fill this with a colour, so I'm just going to just go over here to the pen tool and just go to intersect, 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 okay, intersect over here, intersect, 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 and intersect. Right, so I've got that design. Just select that. Now, I can go over to Object and Transform and Scale. Now sometimes, for some weird reason, this doesn't always scale straight away. You can select it, just and it doesn't transform. It should do, should scale, and you, I'm scaling it by 20%. Now it has actually scaled. I can do this video tutorial 10 times, and sometimes it scales, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, 20%. Now what I want to create is five of those hexagons. Right, so I'm just going to hold the Alt key down so I can duplicate that. Okay, so it's intersected over there, and intersect, go downwards again, intersect, and intersect. Right, so you can see they're all in line. What I want to do now is actually alter, hold the Alt key down again, and duplicate all those. So I'm just going to drag that across. Now the snap to feature should snap as you go across. It does sometimes, sometimes when it gets to about the second or third, it seems to have a bit of a problem. So anyway, hopefully cross fingers, I can snap those all into those little slots. Right, and you can see there on the surface it looks like they're all snapped to perfect correctly. Okay, what I'm going to do now, just select that. I'm going to go use the colour guide so you can get nice harmonious patchwork. So, and of course, I can change the colour at any point. I don't have to go with these ones. I can go for blues, blacks, greens. Of course, you could go just to the swatches palette. Just select those and just select random colours. You don't have to select harmonious colours. So, just select that. Go there. Okay, different ones. So I'm just trying to get different colours matched next door to each other, so that one there, lighter one there, put one two together, put that one there, of course the same, put that one, and that one, and one, one or two more, so once you've done that, that. Right, sometimes it's very hard to determine which ones are the ones you can modify and which ones you don't, you can't. So that one's one that you can modify as well. Right, so now I can actually just go over that and select that. Ah, there's a couple other ones just down there which I hadn't noticed, so I can change those as well. Right, and that's the last one. Okay, so you've actually got now this nice colourful scheme which you can save a copy of, click OK, and don't have to go with that of course, you can actually, if you want, I say randomise that, you can actually just go to colour guide, and just go with other colour schemes as well. So maybe click OK and save that, save a copy. I've done that, so now what I'll do, just go out and I can apply that via the swatches palette, just over here. And there you've got the design.